Hello and welcome to this scanning tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to scan and add paper documents to DocsVault. First, navigate to the location where you want to store the scanned file. In the main DocsVault window, click the Scan button in the toolbar to bring up the scan window. Note that a new file will be generated by default. If you wish to append more pages to an existing file that was scanned using DocsVault, choose the Append option. We will discuss the Append option later in this tutorial. Enter the file name for this scan and an optional description for this file. Choose the appropriate profile for this file and fill out the profile information if desired. Profiles allow you to add more information about any document within DocsVault and are completely customizable. Note that this section can be filled prior or after the actual scanning of documents. You will notice that the default scanner is already selected for you by DocsVault. If you have more than one scanner attached to your computer, click on the Select Scanner link to see a list of available scanners on your computer. DocsVault will list all available Twain and WIA-based scanners. In some cases, it is desirable to use scanner's own interface during scanning. Say, for example, to make use of any advanced feature that your scanner has to offer. To use the scanner's interface, click on the checkbox next to Use Scanner's Interface. Note that this will override any settings made in the Scanner Settings portion of this window. Optical Character Recognition, or simply OCR, is an optional add-on to DocsVault which allows you to search for text even within scanned files. When OCR option is selected for PDF files, DocsVault will perform OCR on the scanned images and will embed a hidden text layer of recognized text within the same scanned PDF file. You can then search for this text in the PDF file by opening it up in any PDF application including DocsVault's own PDF reader and editor or from DocsVault's comprehensive search feature. Under Options section, you can set the basic scan criteria such as scan DPI, quality, paper size and the file format. Check the option Create Multiple Page File to create just a single file for multiple scanned pages. In our example, we will be scanning more than one page to a single file, so we will select this option. You can also scan and create multiple new files and batches. For example, if you want to create a new file every four pages, check this option and adjust a number of pages to four. Now you can put a stack of documents to be scanned and DocsVault will automatically create a new file every four pages and will name them in a sequence based on the file name specified at the top of this window. For instance, where the number of pages per file are not fixed, you can also use the blank sheet of paper as a file separator. We will use this setting in our example. Advanced settings allow you to set up more scanning options like black and white scanning threshold, brightness and contrast, or duplex scanning if your scanner is capable of scanning both sides. DocsVault will remember all the selected settings in this area so that they do not have to be entered every time you scan. Click on the Scan button to start the scanning process. You will see the images of the pages being scanned in the right panel as they are scanned. When all the available pages in the scanner are processed, DocsVault will prompt you if you wish to scan more pages. Click Yes to continue scanning or No if you have finished scanning all documents. Now click on Save button to save the scanned documents. Let's close the scanner window to return back to DocsVault's main window. We see that multiple files are created with sequential file names. We can also browse through the different pages of the file right here in the thumbnail. You can also append pages to existing files scanned using DocsVault. To do this, just right click on the file and click on Add Pages. This will bring up the scanner form again. Note that the Append option is selected by default and the file name is already filled in. As in this case, we will not need to specify a new file name. DocsVault will automatically select the rest of the scanning settings based on the last settings used. Click the scanning button to start appending pages to the existing file. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope that this tutorial was informative and it displayed how simple it is to convert all your paper documents into PDF files using DocsVault. For more tutorials, please go to our website docsvault.com and click on the resources link in the top menu.